great to get to see each other because <laughs> I know it's been more frequently. Right. But it's been a while, so I'm happy that we can sit and chat. Yes. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Cicely Renee. Y'all know who I am. And I am with the lovely Kim. Kim, tell us a little bit about you. Well, I am Mrs. Kimberly Matthews, and I am the founder and CEO of Holy Roly Pastry Shop. Uh, we are a boutique cinnamon roll bakery mm -hmm. um, located in the Las Colinas area, and we are actually taping in our store. This is our first brick and mortar, um, and we are so excited to welcome everyone here, yes. but to be able to host Cicely's podcast oh. and get some you know, questions answered so people yeah. can know a little bit more about myself and Holy Roly Pastry Shop, our journey, and how we got to know each other. Yes, I know. I'm super excited. And I was able to come to the soft opening yes, yes. and celebrate, so I'll show you guys some clips of all of that as well. Um, but we are here. It is Sunday. It is dreary outside, but it is bright in here. Yeah, and Texas pulled the, the Texas thing. It was 70 yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's so cold today. No I got sun. boots on. Like. Right. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. So, first of all, thank you for joining. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm glad we're in your space. And I remember, like, your energy. So, the, I think the first thing that I remember about you is your, you know, bubbly, bright energy that was just so positive. And I'm just like, every time I saw you get excited, I'm like, oh, my God, that's beautiful. Like, just your energy, your personality, your character, just, I'm like, I think they can see. Yeah. That there says joy is a vibe. And joy is a And I will vibe. say, this joy that I have, uh -huh. the world didn't give it right? to me. Right? Thank God. I'm telling you, and that's the essence of who I am. So mm -hmm. when you see Kim, you will get bubbly energy yes. because I am so grateful and filled with joy. And I feel like that's my purpose. Yes. Okay, tell us a little bit how you got started with the Holy Roly Pastry Shop. So, actually... Okay. <laughs> it was a divine kind of revelation, but it started when my daughter and I were walking around Great Bond Meals. Okay. And there was this kiosk that was selling Rice Krispie treats in different flavors. And first of all, I love Rice Krispie treats, anything with marshmallows, so I was like, I gotta get one. And then it just like hit me, I said, this is a really creative concept. I think we could possibly do something similar. We weren't gonna bite their idea and do uh -huh. Rice Krispie treats. And we're like, what could we do? Yeah. What is something that we could possibly do? And so we thought cupcakes, we're like, oh, that's already out there. Cake pops, no, they're doing that. And so we were just kind of brainstorming ideas. And then that night, that same night, I was laying in bed. You know, whenever God has something to tell you, you get that restless, I'm just trying to go to sleep, God. And he's like, I'm trying to deliver something. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I just got up and I wrote down the entire business plan oh, for Holy nice. Brother Pastry Shop. He's like, you're going to do cinnamon rolls. Aww. It's going to be Holy Roly Pastry Shop. That's the name. And these are the flavors you're going to have. And you're going to go to market doing farmer's markets. And just laid out the entire business plan. Everything was there. And I wrote it down because I was like, I'm not going to be able to sleep unless I get this out. And finally was able to go to sleep. Next morning, I shared it with my husband. And I was like, I think, I think this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, and this was probably 2000. 18-ish, where life was busy and crazy, and so we had that idea for a while, because we didn't launch until September 2020. Okay, okay. Exactly. But in those two years, it's amazing to see how God worked to right. kind of move things around, and it didn't, I didn't know why these were happening. I was like, well, why am I doing this? Why is this happening? Where is this going on? And then it all kind of like was a light bulb moment when it came together. It's like, so... You, we moved, and we had a kitchen that was perfect for baking. Okay. Um, the pandemic hit. Mm. So guess what? We had time to, to make recipes <laughs> and taste tests. And everything was closed except for farmer's markets because right. it was open air. So we were able to go to market. And I'm just like, okay, it. guys. You did have a plan right. through those years. It just it was a culmination. Now, I'm not saying the pandemic happened so we could open a holy right, right, but it was an opportunity. Right. And I'm so grateful that we were obedient mm -hmm. to what God had called us to do. And I'm just amazed at, you know, where he's brought us. I love that. And, you know, the opportunity, like finding, you know, the silver lining. Because God always has a plan. 
And even though it may look crazy, it may look like chaos, and people will probably be like, you shouldn't probably open up a, you know, business or start a business during the pandemic, and but things, here we are. Okay, and, that, and that's how I can say, you know, it was only God, because right. there were so many things that just didn't make sense. Mm. It didn't make sense. Y'all, right. I'm not a baker, first of all. <laughs> I don't cook. <laughs> so everybody's like, oh, have you been baking for a long time? No. That's I'm a funny. chemist. So yeah. I know how to, and I'm a formulation chemist, so I make new products and stuff like that. So I know the importance of good ingredients and, you know, making a recipe and the order of addition and everything like yeah. that. However, I don't cook. Okay. And so the fact that, you know, God placed my sister in my life, who is the cook of the family, to come and kind of look over my shoulder as I'm creating these recipes oh, I love it. works. So I'm just like, y'all don't, like, I'm not a baker. <laughs> I've never baked. Cinnamon rolls are a labor of love. Mm -hmm. Not the easiest type of pastry to make. Um, there's many other different ones out there. But for a self-taught baker, it was mm -hmm. kind of daunting. And I was like, of all the things to choose, right. you chose this one, which takes time and patience. Right. And God is just doing a lot. Yeah, that reminds me of like uh, the, the every character. Oh, who who was the stutterer? Who God was? Oh, Moses was that Moses? Yeah, to say he can talk about Yeah, and then all of a sudden he's leading people and to tell of the Ten Commandments and all of that. It's just stuff he was like, wait, what are you going to put me with? Right. You owe me, you owe me God. Right. Yes. Like, yes. And, and that's the thing. It's, I'm, I'm just in awe and completely humbled that he chose to, yeah. to work this vision through us, this journey that. through us. And... We just humbly submit and try to be as obedient as mm -hmm. possible to what he called us to do. Because I am a I'm a self-professed control control freak. <laughs> I am very stubborn, defiant, and want things my way. And uh, God told me early on, so I need you to make mm -hmm. cinnamon rolls, and you just make cinnamon rolls, and I'll take care of the rest. And I was like, but God, I need to know why I'm making cinnamon rolls. <laughs> God, well, why am I making? Why? What's the point? What is the next step? What is this? Because I'm a planner. Right. God. Literally checked me and was like, I said, I love it. I need you to make cinnamon rolls and I'll take care of the rest. And when I surrendered and was like, okay, God, I hear you. I'm going to stop fighting you. I saw the doors open. Yeah. It was amazing. That's awesome. Okay. So we started with uh, Farmer's Market. Yes. And then where did we go from there? Where we met. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So we were doing Farmer's Markets and a couple pop ups. And we did, I think it was a Black Friday pop-up at Music City Mall. Okay. And we had a great just crowd reaction and support that came out. And we decided, well, maybe we should get a kiosk there. Now, is that not a full circle moment? Right. The whole idea came from a Rice Krispie kiosk at a mall. Uh, and yeah. now we're selling cinnamon rolls at a kiosk at a mall. So it, was, awesome. it was amazing to see God do that within months of us launching. Right. And it was a great opportunity for us to learn what retail looked like. Yeah. Okay, okay. And so then, how long did that last? Like, so, you know, timing is not God, like, our timing is not God's timing. <laughs> so, say, like, say that again. You know, for the people in the back. Right. So, our timing is not God's timing. He can do something within two seconds or maybe years and decades. And either way, whatever God has his hand on is going to be blessed. Exactly. So, <laughs> tell exactly. us some timing here. Because I know you said it was just a few months from uh, so we okay so we were established as an LLC in September 2020. October was our first farmers market or pop up. Um, so you know Thanksgiving is just a couple you know weeks after the first pop up uh -huh. uh, or farmers market that we did, and so I want to say February maybe okay. 2021 is whenever we opened our kiosk at the the mall that mall. So it was it was just a few months after okay. us getting started, and. It was, like I said, it was just an amazing opportunity for us to learn the retail side of things because we had just been doing uh, farmers markets. Mm -hmm. We go to a retail space, they expect you to have insurance, which yeah. makes complete sense, but we had to get insurance, make sure everything was covered. Um, and, you know, we had to actually work with other people's store hours. Right. And it was, it was interesting. And we were there at the kiosk for several months. Uh, we didn't make a full year. Um, but the reason why is because we, we felt that it was time for us to pivot and go commercial. Okay. So we were a cottage kitchen baking from the house mm -hmm. um, up until October 2021. Okay. So it's kind of like these milestones. Right. You guys think we, first farmer's market, October 2020. 
October 21 mm -hmm. is whenever we uh, decided to go commercial. And so we walked away from the kiosk spaces because mm -hmm. we had to be smart with our, our finances. Right. Like, are we going to pay for the kiosk or should all our money go towards going commercial? Because right. once you go commercial, you can ship. Right. You can have temperature controlled products. And it just allowed us to kind of broaden our, mm -hmm. our uh, reach, of course. And so that happened. I'm trying to think if anything happened in between there. We were just doing lots of markets. Okay. We actually decided to divide and conquer because okay. it was Philip and I doing a market together. It was great because he would help me put up the tent. Aww. But then we decided to kind of do, broaden yeah. our reach again and divide and conquer. So he'd do a market and I'd do a market on Saturday and we'd each do a separate market on Sunday. And I had to put the tent up by myself. Aww. Thank God to the <laughs> vendor tent tribe that I had yeah. that helped me put my tents up. But um, so we decided to do that, and then we went commercial because, like I said, we just continued to grow and grow and grow, and uh, started to be able to sell online because mm -hmm. we were commercial, so we could ship, and it also allowed us to scale up so we can do festivals. Right. We started doing festivals in 2022. Okay. And that's where you know we started actually rolling in some increased revenue, mm -hmm. and we're like, okay, this is really taking off. It's taking off. Awesome. I think it might be time for us to open a store. Aww. And now we're here. We're in the store. Exactly. I love it. I got the chills. It's, it's um, amazing because, like, literally, God said, make cinnamon rolls. You stay in your lane. Make cinnamon rolls. And as much as I wanted to look over and be like, God, what you doing? <laughs> we would definitely be like, no, go back over there. Mind right. your business, little girl. Oh. And... I now can look back and be like, this is what God was working. Mm -hmm. These were the doors he was opening. These were the connections he was making in order for, you know, his plan to go forward. Because this right. is all his His will. God is the owner of Holy Rolly Pastry Shop. Mm -hmm. We are literally founders and stewards of what he's right. blessed us with. And I love that. Stewards. That has been something I've been focused on. Being a steward over what God has given me. And that's everything. And yeah. so I'm like, okay. Gotta get it together. Gotta get it together. And that's it's a process. It is. Because let me tell you, I still try to control yeah. and tell him what to yeah. do. And he's like, little girl, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. I got this. And once I let go, and I'm mm -hmm. like, I know you got this. Because anything, I let me put my will into this. Yeah. And it messes up. Or it's delayed. Yeah. Or it's just drama and stress. Mm -hmm. And whenever I'm just like, okay, God. And he also, cause this is the other thing. God was like, so I still work full time. Mm -hmm. Philip is full time holy roly. And okay. he's like, would you let go and let yeah. Philip run this? Aww. I, 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 Positioned you to have a helpmate that can do this, That's and let me right. tell you, <laughs> Philip. So Philip has experience in uh, corporate sales and events. Holy Roly is perfect for corporate sales yes. and events. We need to make sure everybody gets these treats. Yes. Why was I trying to tell him how to do his job? Oh. No, and I'm a chemist. Right. I ain't got no corporate sales experience. <laughs> and God's like, Kim, stop. Just oh. stop. You make cinnamon rolls. Right. Let me do this and let Philip do what he's what I've called him to do. And Oh, it's surrender a is the yeah. Oh, yeah, because there's freedom. Yep, and I was going to say there's so much freedom in much letting like go. Yeah, okay. yeah. And because yeah, people are like, how? You, you have to follow laws and rules and, you know, can't do this. And I'm like, there's so much freedom. Like, you're exactly. not understanding the concept. Like, you're already looking at it from a negative standpoint. So, once you shift your, you know, mindset, you can see how much freedom it is in giving everything to God. Because I'm just like, I'm tired of doing everything on my own, God. I know. Like, <laughs> and I was just like, no. Like I said, because of Christ, those laws, the legalistic yeah. things are, are not needed. It, it shows just how, how much we need Christ more. Right. That's what there is there. It's almost mm -hmm. like a reflection of, you know, don't do this, don't do this, because that's what your fleshly body wants to do. Right. But thank you, Lord, for I mean, God for sending Christ. Yeah. To just kind of atone from all right. of our fleshly ways, because yeah. I am very stubborn and yeah. greedy and lazy and all, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And for me to know that God loves me, but yeah. God, in spite of me, right, it's amazing. And oh, so yeah. it just is so free to know that. God, he has this. He has oh, yeah. us. He has everything. And it's it's not legalistic at all. Right. I love that. Oh, So I get really excited. I love relationships. I, you know, love partnerships. And so, like, I get to, like, yesterday I went to a festival and I got to see the Holy Roly and her husband, Philip, doing his thing. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to see your wife tomorrow. And just, yes. I just love y'all's teamwork, y'all camaraderie, like, just the... It's just beautiful. Can you talk about kind of like having 
you know, kind of like a family business, having, you know, a partnership and like running it together. And especially because it was kind of like more your idea rather than from the guy, you know, the man. Yeah. And so like, can you talk about that dynamic yeah. if you want to? I will, for sure. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm a control freak. <laughs> so this was my idea. This is my, and God's like, first of all. Ooh, it's right. Check yourself. <laughs> and I was like, okay. But <laughs> Philip uh, was on his phone with my mother in law, so his mom. And he's like, Yeah, we're, we're going to start a business. We're going to do cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. And he, he wouldn't say me. He said, Kim is starting this business. Okay. Kim is doing cinnamon rolls. Kim is Kim, Kim, Kim. Mm -hmm. And his, uh, my mother in law was like, I'm so proud of you all. Yeah. I'm so proud that the two of you have created this. Mm -hmm. She she made it um, us. Yeah. So we can say we, because let me tell you, it was a lot of I, 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 mm -hmm. and Kim, Kim, Kim. And I was like, what do you mean? Because he, he did anything. <laughs> he has been the biggest supporter. Whenever oh, I yeah. had this idea, he ordered business cards day one. And I'm like, I think we're going to do this. He got us a computer. He got uh, signs and uh, uh, magnet decals to put on the car. Yeah. He's like, okay, we're doing this. And that support was so amazing, but I still was thinking it was me, me, me. Right. Until my mother-in-law was, she, and she didn't address me directly. She mm -hmm. just always would say, this is so beautiful that you yeah. two are doing this, that you guys have birthed something, that you guys are, right. are, are fulfilling this journey together. And I got, I just, I, you know, I had to <laughs> deal with it because I'm like, but, but, I'm, no, it's my, it was my, you gave this to me. And he's like, no, <laughs> stop, let's right. sit, sit back. And so once I get over myself and I realized I have the best partner to go through this through, mm -hmm. um, on this side of earth, because God is doing everything right. else, you know, pushing this forward. Um, it allowed me to have freedom mm -hmm. because I didn't have to try and control and do everything right. because he is beyond confident and able to to be you know a partner in this venture he's more on the logistics side and I'm on the creative sales side of things um but just to have that supportive partner who is your biggest cheerleader yeah um doing things whenever it could look very risky mm -hmm. um has just kept us going going one step at a time and he always is checking in to making sure that my mental health is well that right. I'm getting my break because I still do work full time and I try to do the same reciprocate and be like do you need any time right. out have you went to, went to go play basketball recently like I know that you need to have that help so it's good that we prioritize our, our marriage mm -hmm. over the business mm -hmm. uh, we respect each other in our roles um, and Philip is the the logical realistic one and I'm the, the dreamer yeah. And he is always making sure that I'm not getting ahead of myself and mm -hmm. that I'm grounded. And so it's a good, a great yin and yang type right. of uh, situation. But I will say this. I am grateful for my corporate job because mm -hmm. I'm not with them 100% of the time. Okay. We do have a break. And that's why I think that we're able to connect when we do because okay. it's not all work right. all the time. We're able to have some separation to have our own identity and then come together. Okay. I love that. I hope I answered that question, girl, because no, I was talking. No, and that's good. Like, <laughs> I'm, there's so many nuggets in there. And I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to get married and have my partner. And we're going to do things together and all this stuff. Oh, like, oh, so. oh, oh. Just, yes, <laughs> no. it is great. <laughs> but let me tell you, there's times where I'm looking at him. Uh -huh. And he's looking at me. And I'm looking at him. We're like, okay, we got to go to several rooms right now. Yeah, yeah. But it's, we always choose each other. Right. We always put each other first. Like, that is one of our biggest values. Yeah. Nothing is going to come before our marriage, right? Um, and you know that, and God is, you know, part of this three, you know, core uh, strand, strand yeah. that we have, our, our braid that we had. That was actually our our unity ceremony. Oh. We did that, the core of three strands, mm -hmm. and we always need to make sure that he's he's leading this and he brings mm -hmm. us back together because there are times where I'm like, who are you talking to? Right. You can't tell me what to do, and then I'm like. God put, put him as a head to tell me what to do, and I'm supposed to give this over to yeah. to him. So what am I doing? Right. If you trust God that He gave you this man, then you can just let it go. That yes. freedom again. Right. Um, yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. I used to be married, and uh, yeah, I had dreams. I had dreams. Mm -hmm. So I'm I hope you still have dreams. I right? do. I do. Good. And it's just with someone else. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all good. Yes, it is. It really is. And I'm excited that you still dream and you yeah. still have that hope. And mm -hmm. I, I kissed a lot of frogs oh, yeah. before I got to my prince. 
And I don't like to say that because I didn't mean anybody to save me. Uh-huh. I, because my foster I met my king. Yeah. Let's say that. Yeah. And um, it, it was a process because I, Philip and I met in my late twenties and we got married in my my thirties. Um, I thought I was going to be married at twenty three. Yeah. With more kids. I just have my one daughter okay. and God's like. <laughs> I don't know what you think. I got something better for you, and he, his plan was better. Yes, always, always, <laughs> and it, like, and that's the thing because I'm like, I have to continue like leaving things at the altar because I'll be picking things up. Like, I'll be like, oh, okay, wait, I'm sorry, God. Okay, here, take it back, take it back, and I'm just like, okay, and that what that causes is that delay because we always keep trying to step in, and I'm like, okay. Uh, but it is a daily like battle. Like it's, you're not gonna be a perfect Christian. You're not no. gonna be a perfect human. And so having that grace that God gives you and just moving forward. And I I think that's powerful. And that's why I love God so much. Cause I'm like, hey, exactly. I'm like I'm glad He's not like human. Cause people would just leave you and be like, okay, you messed me up. Like we're gonna keep going. And all of, you're like, wait, what happened to here? Right. So, exactly. It's it's it's. it's amazing and like it gives me chills just thinking about yeah. how much he loves mm-hmm. us oh my god how much he loves us oh yeah that was a song today at church today <laughs> oh how yes he loves us yeah. so much and he, it, as broken as we are mm-hmm. and he's like i know you broke that's why i had to send, send christ down we good right we, we together now yeah. we are in fellowship and he loves us and he knows that you know we're fleshy mm-hmm. and then we have a sinful nature but we're growing yeah and we're hopefully you know, hiding Christ in our heart yeah. and, you know, transforming into, mm-hmm. you know, the version that he, he calls us to be. No, oh, yes. Aw, okay. So let's talk a little bit about, like, you know, kind of like your next steps. What do you think? What do you see for yourself? Well, I, but let me tell you. I told you earlier. <laughs> God told me to make cinnamon rolls. <laughs> He's, no, no. He has not revealed nothing to me. He didn't tell me. It's, well, it's so funny. In my okay. business plan, from the get-go, I had that we would have a storefront in okay. a couple years. God must have revealed that to me to put it on there. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but yeah. it was on there. Um, and so... Literally, he's still telling me, just make cinnamon rolls. I'll open the doors and see what's happening. So we believe um, that we'll have multiple locations. Okay. So this is our, our first. This might be our flagship location. Yeah. And then we'll be able to um, run this place as efficiently as possible so we'll know how to duplicate it mm-hmm. and then have success in other areas in DFW, throughout Texas, maybe even nationwide. Who knows Ooh. what God has for us. But um, that is the, the plan right now is to... Just optimize uh, our first location. Um, make sure that the community knows that we're here yes. and that we're we're here to support. And uh, we're already connected to a lot of the schools here. Yeah. Um, we're getting connected to some of the churches because of customers who've come in. Right. And we just want the community to know that we're here. And we're a part of this community, too. Yeah. We live in Irving. And so we just want to kind of be a beacon of light, to mm-hmm. spread joy, optimize this so we can spread joy in other locations as well yes i love that and i'm a huge community person and so just knowing that you are like deeply embedded into the community you want to serve the community yes like how can the community um like participate in your space like what what i mean i know you have wi-fi how can you like open the doors for people to just come in and enjoy this beautiful I know. Well, yes, we do have Wi-Fi, so if you want to come in and study or do some work, you are more than welcome. We also serve coffee, so you can have some coffee with your cinnamon roll. Um, and we are closed on Sundays uh, for um, like retail sales, but we are actually contemplating opening it up for um, events. Okay. If uh, somebody didn't want to, to host, you know, like um, a book club meeting or maybe Bible study or a tea party or a birthday party. We're, we're open to ideas of how we can use this space for our community and neighbors. I love it. I already have ideas. Like, <laughs> I have lots of ideas. Oh, my oh gosh. God. I do. Can you tell us, so what's on your menu? I know you have cinnamon rolls, but you have some fun cinnamon rolls. We do. So we have over 15 flavors. Okay. What we do right now is we have our five like standard flavors and we rotate a, a different flavor. Right now we're doing it monthly. We might do it weekly depending on what the community is asking for. But our standard flavors are traditional, which is a classic cinnamon roll with vanilla buttercream. We have our honey bunny, which has a cinnamon honey glaze. Ooh. We have our cream and cookies, which is Oreo. 
um, maple bacon, which happens to be my favorite. <laughs> and we're doing peanut butter right now. That's Philip's favorite. Okay. It has a peanut butter swirl with chocolate buttercream and then Reese's wow. peanut butter morsels on top. Um, and carrot cake. Carrot mm -hmm. cake is like our, our, the one that is the seasonal one for the month. Um, we did it for Easter. Oh, I love cake. It's, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> exactly. And we also do have a vegan option. Okay. Right now we're doing the vegan traditional our classic roll made with oat milk and plant butter, but we can do other flavors as well. It's just going to be upon request. Like obviously we can do a strawberry, yeah, vegan, um, a honey vegan, and something like that. So that's what's on the menu. But we also serve coffee, as I mentioned, by the cup, and we also have it by the bag. We partnered with Whiskey Morning Coffee. They're another small um, business. Um, I believe they're just outside of Granbury, and. We were vendors together, okay. tasted their coffee, and I got a medium roast that didn't need any of the frou fruit stuff I typically put in because uh -huh. it's just that flavorful. Um, we also have cake rolls. Ooh. So like the Swiss cake rolls um, that you, you kind of see, like a pumpkin roll, something yeah. like that. We have red velvet and a vanilla uh, confetti okay. cake one as well. Nice. But we are looking to expand uh, our menu to other uh, pastries and baked goods. And we also uh, we offer a take and bake option. Okay. So if you wanted to bake them at home, like right. you smell that, that good cinnamon love yes. in, in your own, <laughs> own home and slippers and a, a robe, we can do that as well. I love it. I can't wait until you make a gluten-free one. Now, let me tell y'all. <laughs> I am a chemist, but I'm not a magician. And I tried the gluten-free, and I yes. had feedback, and they said it was okay. Yeah. It, it, it didn't meet my quality standards. And so, I will tell you guys this. It's Dab's Bakery, D-A-B-S uh, Bakery. They do everything gluten-free. Okay. They just came up with a gluten-free gluten cinnamon roll. So. Okay. I'm going to have to talk with them and see if I can bring that in That'd to the store good. for you guys because I'm, I'm not going to mess with some, <laughs> the experts. They know what they're doing. I tried and it was a complete fail. No, I totally so understand. I'm going to see what I can do to bring that yeah. in. And I have a, a, a bakery friend, um, Kim Kimberly's Keto Cakes, to okay. see if I can bring some keto desserts as That'd well. Be awesome. So awesome. I'm going to stay. Like God told me, you make cinnamon rolls, but I make <laughs> these type of cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to stay in my lane yes. and I will bring in, you know, fellow bakers and other uh, products I think will complement yeah. our customers. And we plan on getting a fridge soon. Okay. So we'll be offering more beverages. We'll have our cake rolls on display and um, some other, you know, specialty be beverages as well for you guys to purchase. So, I mean, we're excited about what's next. I'm excited about what's next. I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> and so, like, and you get to ship all over the country or yeah. the world? No, oh, we, we haven't come <laughs> to the world yet. Not of the world yet, but definitely nationwide. Okay, so you heard that. So, holyrolly.com, H O L Y R O L L I E. Yeah, let's see if I can read it. Can y'all see it? I'll put it all Ooh. in the. Did it work? No, girl. <laughs> well, it might have, but I can't see. Even with the glasses on, I can't see, but it's okay. I love this space, and I can't wait to do events in here. Please do. Oh, oh my goodness. It's going to be oh so my fun. Goodness. It is. Because I'm, it's, oh, yeah, I have it all. I have it all in here. Well, so, like I said, we are available, and we want the community <laughs> to know that we're here. Um, we do give back to food pantries. Okay. Um, on our anniversary, we do like what I call a roll-a-thon. And for the first week in October, every cinnamon roll that we sell, we donate a dollar to a food pantry. Nice. This year, um, I mean, previously we, we did one in Louisville. Uh, we partnered with Minnie's Pantry last year. And this year we're going to partner with Urban School Funds so they have a food pantry for their nice. kids as well. So. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I, and I'm not familiar with Irving and that much. Even though I have been going to church over here, but I, I don't live over here. I live in Louisville, but I'm like, I want to know it's all over here. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it, it seems really cool. So we have, like, what kind of restaurants? I've seen restaurants. Yeah, so we're located on the corner of Regent and Beltline. Okay. Anybody that's familiar with Las Colinas or Irving area knows Beltline is like a main thoroughfare. Okay. And 635 is just is the other cross street. And so we're at Regent Cross. Um, some of the big pillar uh, restaurants, we have McAllister, McAllister's over here, mm -hmm. Golden Chick, Chipotle, and McDonald's. And in the strip mall right behind it, that's where you can find the small businesses like me. Mm -hmm. um, we are on the west side, the best side. <laughs> which like, don't you say that, but I like, don't come out. <laughs> we are on the west side of Regent. And uh, Holy Really Pastry Shop is actually sandwiched in between Koryaki Korean Grill, 
like delicious. And Cavalli, uh, it's an Italian restaurant. They have this Neapolitan pizza, this margarita pizza. Oh, wow. oh my god! Really and it is pizza. like that, you know, wood fire kill delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> so good! Everything. And then they have these wings. Girl, did it go off? No, I guess it's just the lighting. I think it could be. Okay. I think you're good. <laughs> I was like, is it on? Um, but delicious. So uh, that's where we're located. But there's lots of other uh, options to find. There's an Indian restaurant. Okay. Uh, what the 